We're going to get to the, the Tesla take private uh, questions in a moment, Marco. But first of all, NASA just gave assignments for the first nine astronauts riding commercial spacecraft. Five of them went to Boeing and four of them went to SpaceX. How big a deal is that? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's a big deal because it takes us um, into a whole new era. Um, we've been uh, basically, uh, the United States has been uh, renting space on uh, Soyuz uh, rockets and capsules to get our astronauts up to the space station for the last uh, uh, seven or eight years. And, uh, and for the first time in a while now, we have the opportunity to, uh, to launch our own astronauts on our own rockets. So uh, Elon Musk has been perhaps a little distracted this week with Tesla, but he's got a COO of SpaceX, Gwen Shotwell, running the ship, ship there. As far as you can tell, is everything going to plan, to schedule with getting this first crew launched in April? Uh, I think so. I think um, the development of, um, of the Falcon 9 rocket uh, as well as the, the Dragon capsule over the last few years has been steady. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's gone well. Uh, it hasn't had uh, any, any major technical glitches. I believe the, the Boeing uh, capsule, uh, the Starliner, had uh, some, uh, some uh, fuel leaks, I believe. But uh, as far as uh, SpaceX, uh, no, the, this, is, this program has gone uh, on schedule. So there is a lot of doubt as to whether Musk can pull out this Tesla go private plan. But if he can, he has compared the model he aspires to to SpaceX. How do you think Tesla could benefit from SpaceX's private structure? Well, keep in mind that uh, both um, both these companies, Tesla and SpaceX, uh, have entered uh, very conservative, very traditional markets, uh, Tesla and automobiles. And, uh, and SpaceX in, in uh, space launch. Uh, what, what SpaceX has done in a very, very short period of time in the, in the last 10 years has been to, uh, to become uh, the world's premier uh, commercial launch company or launch company in general. Uh, to do that in a, in a very competitive market in a very short period of time is, is nothing uh, less than spectacular. Uh, and he's done it by um, creating products like launch vehicles uh, that are um, very, uh, very affordable compared to the competitors by far and very reliable. And uh, he's also done it by investing in uh, innovative uh, technologies like reusable uh, t uh, launch vehicle, t vehicle technology. So now when they launch uh, Falcons, uh, the first stage comes back and lands uh, on its own. I think what, what happens when, you, when you're a private company is you don't have shareholders that are looking uh, um, uh, behind you uh, asking, well, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? Why isn't the stock price going uh, higher quicker? I think with a private company, you, you have the luxury of planning for the long term and not worrying about short term, uh, short -term events, short term uh, stock prices. I wonder, though, how Tesla employees will feel about this. You know, SpaceX employees, because it's a private company, they can sell their shares uh, once every six months. But Tesla employees right now can sell them where, whenever they want. You know, what do you imagine the impact for employees will be? And how do SpaceX employees like their structure? Well, I can't comment on Tesla. That's not really my area. I'd imagine that, that that's uh, something that they probably wouldn't like. Uh, there are some downsides to going private, but I think uh, on the whole, uh, a private company just is uh, uh, allowed to be uh, much more aggressive, much more innovative. And I think if, um, if he wants to uh, accomplish with Tesla what he's accomplished with SpaceX, I don't think he can really do that as a public company.